Welcome to another V-Brown Bag Build Day video. This is the Simplicity 380 Build Day. We're here in Houston and I'm joined again by Brian Knudsen to talk about, what are we talking about? We're going to talk a little bit about extensibility of the Simplicity platform. So we've had done scalability and availability, so extensibility is the yeah. next ability? It's all about our abilities. Yeah, so um, one of the cool things about Simplicity um, that we've, we've built over the years is a very robust REST API. Um, with, with really the intent was to take our CLI and extend almost all the functionality out to the REST API so that we would have the ability to allow third parties to, to build on top of our platform or for us to easily integrate into other platforms. So what they did is they ended up putting a, an interface on the OVCs that allow our customers access directly to that REST API. So they can actually execute commands. They can learn what our API is like by actually using it. So it could be as simple as going in, creating a backup through through a through an interface where you just have to fill in the parameters. So just a web page where you yep. say, "I want to see, I want to backup this particular machine. Mm -hmm. Do it now." Yeah, yeah, and then you can go and then you can restore that backup, and you can monitor the task that's restoring that backup until it's completed, and then you can run um, run a command to actually bring. Um, bring the information for that new virtual machine up and, and simply do that by simply copying and pasting IDs from one command to the next. But of course, in a real use, this is going to be inside a script that somebody is running that's, that's going to be holding these object values yep. because it's just a REST API. It's returning JSON objects that exactly. you can then manipulate through your application. Yeah, yeah. So the interface is really good at helping them learn what those commands are, figure out exactly what those commands need to look like, and it actually gives you you know, here's, here's the curl command to be able to do this so that you can copy and paste it into a script to then actually execute that like that. Um, and then we've, we've used that REST API a couple different ways. So there's a plugin for vRealize Automation, VMware's cloud automation product um, that we've developed so that it's, it's pre-built plugins that allow um, customers to simply, that are using VRA with SimpliVity underneath to drop in a plugin and be able to start building workflows based on that. And see all the simplicity properties inside of VRA. Exactly, exactly. Um, we then actually took and developed our DLM DR automation tool to run off of our data protection capabilities, and all that's built on REST API as well. So it just you point it at vCenter, and it finds the simplicity nodes from there, and is able to directly call all those REST APIs very easily. And that's all the. Simplicity REST APIs are running independently of vCenter. They're talking directly to the OVCs that yep. control us. Yeah, well, and, and it you know we can call either one really. It makes it very simple to do to do both. Some of the stuff we can do through the REST API that will then call the vCenter API just depends on the particular functions there. But yeah, it's been it's been a really cool tool for customers to use. Um, I've seen even some third party. Um, influencers, people outside of our customer base, outside of our own employee base, working in conjunction with some of our employees to just learn and build. And there's there's a whole slew of PowerShell commandlets that are out there now um, because of this out on GitHub that anybody can go and grab. And we've had people fork it and, and put stuff in and, and grow it. So it's been kind of cool to watch the community kind of start taking, taking it on a little bit. Making it much easier to develop your own mm -hmm. PowerShell commands or yeah. scripts that call these commandlets rather than having to deal with the invoke REST API command yep. inside of PowerShell. Yeah, yeah. So making it very easy for those organizations that are PowerShell focused. VMware has done a ton with PowerShell as well. So it's it's kind of cool to see that kind of come to fruition as well. So lots of, lots of resources out on the web. Um, some from our own internal, like I said. Some are also on GitHub. Um, so those are available for, for people to, to use and play with. Great. Well, thank you very much, Brian. Yeah. And get started on automating your SimpliVity deployment. Also, keep watching the vBrownBag channel for more SimpliVity build day videos. And of course, join us live for a build day soon. Three, two, one.